This is a tutorial on magnetic circuits. Let's assume that the permeability of the iron were constant. In that case, I'll show you two ways of solving the circuit in this first mini video. Let's do it in this way. Consider a very simple magnetic circuit, this one. All the dimensions will be revealed. We need 1.2 million lines of flux in that core. There is no leakage. Assume uh, that there is no leakage and that means that all the flux is in the iron there is no flux in the air the coil has 1200 turns 1200 turns what is the necessary current in that coil that is the question and we will solve that because we will be assuming that the permeability of the iron is constant which is not true but for this simplified approximation we assume that it's constant Let's work on the simplified solution of this very basic magnetic circuit. Assuming that the permeability of the iron is given as 5,500 times the permeability of air, identify every segment or leg that we think will have a uniform flux density and label those segments, those legs, as 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. I better show you how it is done. Look, that is a circuit and the dimensions are given in meters. In there, I'll identify each leg with a number where I think that the flux density will be uniform. Segment one on the left, two on the top, three on the right, and four at the bottom. For each one of those segments, I will compute the magnetic potential drop produced by the 1.2 million lines of magnetic flux and if we add uh, those four magnetic potential drops according to Ampere's law, that should be equal to the MMF applied by the only sort of MMF in the circuit, the coil on the left, NI. So that is the plan. Compute each one of the four magnetic potential drops, add them up, and that should be equal to NI. We know N, we compute the current I. Let's do that first for one of those legs for number one, the one on the left. We need the magnetic potential drop. We need U. We remember that U is HL. Hmm. We know the length. We need H, the magnetic field in that one. How will I compute H? What I know is a flux. How do I go from the flux to the magnetic field? Well, there is a stop. With the flux on the cross-section area, I compute the flux density. With the flux density and mu, I compute H. Right. So let's begin by computing the cross. Um, section area of the flux A3 0 0.12 times 0 0.12 that is the area that the flux will cross in that leg because the flux is 12 milliwebers I divide the flux by the area to get the flux density 0 0.833 teslas and because we're assuming the permeability of the iron is 5500 times mu naught we can compute what is the value of H B divided by mu, that is the value of H, the magnetic field, 120.6 amps per meter. Multiply H3 by the length of that segment, and that will be the magnetic potential drop in it, right? Right. But what is the length? 0 0.9 or 0 0.72? The average. That is equivalent length of that leg, the average of those lengths, 0 0.81. Multiply 3 by L3. And that is the magnetic potential drop in that segment, 97.7 amperes. If we repeat that for each one of the other three legs, we will have the total magnetic potential drop in the circuit. And that, according to Ampere's law, should be equal to Ni, the MMF applied by the coil. I have created a table that contains the data for each one of the four legs. And down here at the bottom, we have the magnetic potential drop in each one of the legs. If we add the four magnetic potential drops, H1L1, H2L2, H3L3, and H4L4, we get the total MMF applied by the coal, that is 514 amperes. That should be equal to Ni. That should be equal to 1200I. From there, the current, obviously, is 0 0.428 amperes. And that's how we solve that very simple magnetic circuit in the simplified manner because we use the very gross approximation that mu is constant with a given value. 
can we compute the inductance of that coil? Let's see. To compute the inductance, we need the current. We know the current. We need the flux linkage. Flux linkage. Yes, we need N5. Well, we know phi. We know the flux is, um, what was it? 12 milliwebers. And we know the number of turns N. That is 1200. We know the current 0 0.4 to 8. Of course, we can compute the inductance. Let's compute the inductance of that macro coil. We have set up in an iron coil coil. So we have the flux, 12 milliwebers. We can compute the flux linkage. Sure, 14.4 webers. We know the current, 0 0.428 amperes. Divide the flux linkage by the current, and we get what is the inductance. The inductance is a huge 33.6 hemorrhage. Is an enormous inductance. Of course, this is a very big inductor. It's almost a meter tall and a meter wide. And its weight, 275 kilograms. Of course, it's huge. It has a huge inductance. Let's see how much we understand of what we've done. Let's say that I were to ask you, what happens if we keep the flux the same? 12 milliwebers. We keep the magnetic core exactly the same, but we replace the coil with another coil that has twice the number of turns. Instead of 1,200, 2,400 turns. Can you tell me how will the inductance change without having to recompute the whole thing? Of course you can. Stop the video. Think about it because I am about to reveal the solution. You ready? You can do it. Do it. But if not, let me tell you what's going to happen. The flux is the same we said. So the magnetic potential drop in the circuit will remain the same. So the total MMF remains the same because the number of turns is twice as many. Then the necessary current will be only one half of the current that we had before. Check. Now check out. The flux is the same. The number of turns is twice as many. So the flux linkage is twice as big as before. Check it out. The flux linkage is twice as big. The current is only one half. We divide flux linkage by current. We get four times the inductance that we had before. That is what would happen. And that is the end. Well, that is the end of this video. But using the same approximation that mu is constant, we can replace the magnetic circuit with an equivalent electric circuit to solve it. And that is in the next video. For now, thank you very much.